Hello, hello, hello. Danica here. And today I'm going to show you how to play the World's Hardest Game in 2021. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to need two things. Uh, something to run the Flash files, and you'll also need to download the Flash files themselves. Okay, so the software I recommend to run uh, Flash files is Adobe Flash Player Projector. If you follow the link in the description, it will take you to this page and you can download the appropriate uh, Flash Player Projector for your device. In my case, I'm on a Windows device, so I'm going to download uh, Adobe Flash Player Projector for Windows. Once you've got that downloaded, you can use that to run any Flash file uh, with a .w, uh, .swf extension. Another good program you can use to play Flash games is Blue Maxima's Flashpoint. Uh, again, if you follow the link in the description, we'll take you to their homepage here. And if you go to download Flashpoint, uh, there are two versions, Ultimate and Infinity. Uh, you probably want Infinity. Uh, Ultimate means that you download all of the Flash files that they have in their database, which as you can see here is 532 gigabytes. But Flashpoint Infinity just downloads the actual software. Uh, which is only two gigabytes and uh, then it allows you to download the specific files you want so you could download the the world's hardest game files but they also have lots of other classic flash games so if you're interested in playing other flash games as well this is a really good place to uh, play those and download those okay when you open flashpoint.exe for the first time you should get a screen that looks like this Simply head up to the search bar and type in the world's hardest game in order to find the files for the world's hardest game. You'll see there's seven files here. Now, the ones that you want are the red ones with the flash icon. These three down here are the HTML versions. So you can already play those online. If you're playing, you want to play the flash ones, you want the first four here. So the World's Host Game, the World's Host Game 2, 3, and 4. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the World's Host Game 2.1 is here, but I'll be showing in a minute a way that you can download the World's Host Game 2.1 if you would like to play that. Okay, so that's how you play the World's Host Game using Flashpoint. Now, if you are using the Flash Projector, you'll need to download the .swf files separately. Um, so one easy way to do this is to follow the link I put in the description to the mega folder that I have here with basically all of the main versions, including some speedrun versions of the World's Test Game 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'll just quickly run through what each of these are. So the World's Test Game 1 official, that's the official release of the World's Test Game 1. This is Pizzoula's speedrun mod of the World's Test Game 1. This is the official release of the World's Test Game 2.1. This is the World's Host Game 2 easiest mod, so none of the enemies are in it. This is the World's Host Game 2 official release. This is uh, the World's Host Game 2 speedrun mod by Pizzoula without music. And this one is the same mod, but it has the music in. And then there's the official release of the World's Host Game 3 and the official release of the World's Host Game 4. And the way to use these, if you have, for example, Adobe Flash Projector, is simply to download them and then run and select open with and then use the Adobe Flash projector to open them. Another place that you can go to download the World's Host Game .swf files is the speedrun.com page. Um, if you head to the World's Host Game speedrun.com page, you will see something like this with the World's Host Game, the World's Host Game 2, the World's Host Game 3 and the World's Host Game 4. And if you click on a particular game, for example, the World's Host Game 1, and then when you get to that game, you'll see over on the left here, there's a couple of tabs you can select from. So if you select Resource, Resources tab, this will have a bunch of different versions and also other tools uh, for the game. So for example, there's the World's Host Game Speedrun version. There is the original Snubbyland version. Um, there's also a trainer mod by Pizzoula here and a few other things. And you could check the resources tab for the other games as well for various versions of those games. 
If you still can't find the file you're looking for or you have any questions that you would like to ask uh, or if you're just generally interested in the World's Host Game and you want to join our community, I recommend joining the World's Host Game Discord server and uh, there will be a link for that in the description and then you can come and ask if you have any other questions about any of this. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, you can also leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time.